Does your Anatolia have a horrible case of Bordegor ruled over by false empires like the Ptolemies? Well, with this simple solution, you can get rid of that horrible Bordegor for good. Rome. Rome is clinically proven to end Bordegor woes and smash any nascent empires to pieces. 9 out of 10 senators agree. Side effects include sacking cities, enslaving locals, and bringing civilization to silly barbarians. Terms and conditions apply. And here we are back with Rome, guys. Now, a lot of you last time wanted Punic Rivals and Eastern Glory for our next mission, but I have had a look at Punic Rivals, and it does require us to be three times the size of Carthage, which we aren't right now. So let's go for Eastern Glory instead. We're going to go into the East, conquer Anatolia, and then we'll look towards Carthage again. This mission tree basically means that we have to control like all of Anatolia, if you can see. Like a lot of these areas are very, very far away from where we are currently. So it's going to be an interesting little episode. Let's first of all, though, take the bread basket, which gets a delegation sent to Alexandria. Now, a little bit of a hitch, guys. I have already recorded like two hours of this and then realized halfway through that my microphone was muted halfway. And I don't remember pressing the mute button. So if this doesn't come out on Friday, I'm very sorry. First things first, though, guys, let's get our first legion, the Legio Italia over here. 20 heavy infantry, 10 spearmen and 10 heavy cavalry with five flank size either side and 10 of our engineers as well. That should be a very nice legion for us. And there we go, the first legion. It is a large step for a nation to show it has the resources to keep a standing army. As we have formed Legio Italia, we now stand as a nation above others. Our glorious nation enters a new era of professional soldiers that will show no mercy to our enemies. Additionally, they will be able to forge a legacy of their own and bravery or lack thereof shall determine its character. Fantastic, a new era has begun, definitely. And to make it a nice round number of 30,000. We're actually going to add five more engineer cohorts. We are going to be steaming through these forts. Let's go. Let's get some siege ability from our military experience. Fantastic. First things first, we need to subdue Thrace up here in the north. So we are going to get into this war straight away. Let's go. And a good test of our legion's siege ability going on to this Apollonia Pontique over here. That's going to be interesting. See how quickly we can siege that down. And the Legion literally started on like minus 7% for a level 3 fort. So uh, that's pretty nice, isn't it? Tech-wise, guys, we are going to go towards temporary office over here because our threshold for civil wars being a great power is really low. And as soon as like anyone becomes uh, disloyal, then we are very close to a civil war. So we are going to go down towards that. There's also some nice bonus in bonuses in here for build cost, all that sort of thing as well. And the Legion just chews through level one forts. It started on 28%. Very nice. And there we go, guys. 97 war score, but only 23 aggressive expansion. That's pretty good. That allows us to subdue Thrace, which allows us to build a colony. And we are going to refound the city of Lysimachia because it's been destroyed somewhere along the way. Uh, but a nice little city refounding a bit of the uh, Hellenistic legacy, even though we are Roman. And let's expand Thassos gold mines as well. Very nice. And get some sulfurous investments. Well, I think it's time now to get into the Antigonid kingdom, basically just to clean up this little area, take this area for one of our missions, and then we can get onto the Ptolemies as well. Very nice. Let's go. And there we are on Cyprus, absolutely smashing these troops to pieces. Very nice indeed. <laughs> Um, hopefully we can smash them and defeat them. Let's see. And these guys have literally been running around this wasteland forever. <laughs> it's just constantly going on. <laughs> and let's go for befriend Anatolian kings. I'm not really looking for an alliance over here, honestly, but... We might as well take the mission. It might give us some bonus. I don't think it does, but <laughs> it's nice to click buttons, isn't it, guys? The main problem is the fact that we can't actually get access into the Antigone Kingdom here, so they don't want to peace out. This guy has just popped up, though, so let's try and get a access through them quickly and just get in there as quick as we can. Oh, and God damn it, they, they popped out Cyprus, even though we'd fully occupied this area, so now we can't take Cyprus as well, but... It's unfortunate, but hopefully that'll allow us to peace out a little bit quicker. Right then, let's peace out, guys. Very nice indeed. We're going to take everything that we can do. That is going to allow us to do entering by Thinia here, which is very nice. And Heraclea Pontica will give us 12 pops. Awesome. Well, you know what this means. I have fabricated three claims on this area because, like, these areas have a huge amount of pops... And by taking them, it really does screw us over a little bit. So, um, yeah, we're going to try and take everything over here that we can do from the Ptolemies. 
Let's see, this should be a rather big war. And look at this, guys. The Ptolemies are Kemetic. <laughs> that is cursed. That is really cursed. I don't like that at all. <laughs> Why, Ptolemies? Why? No, 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 no. And here we go. Big battle, 18k of their troops. Let's go, let's see how we do. They don't have the best split. They've even got camels over here. I don't think our guys are going to be too scared of camels, do you guys? Very nice indeed. That is awesome. Um, and now we're getting into here. Looks like these boys are taking a bit of a battering. But uh, we've got a lot of troops ready to come over there now. Well, it is rather a back and forth war so far. We've not fought too many battles, but... We are starting now to really put the pressure on them. We just need a little bit more war score. They are already on low. And yeah, like, I, I, let me show you what, like, what we can get for 100 war score. That's all. Like, that is literally it because of the amount of population in these areas, even with our claims. So yeah, it's going to be tough, but uh, let's see what we can do. And look at that. Reflections of glory. A remarkable victory has been achieved by Hohor's Legio Italia. After a crushing victory against the pompous Greeks and their phalanx, had Alexandra seen the sloppiness of their movement, weakness of the guards for the flanks, and slow reactions to our tactics, he would have wept. With this great victory, we will take the glory of the Silver Shields for ourselves, as we now have the most proficient heavy infantry in the world. We get a gear of speed as awesome. And look at that. Cohort loyalty gain chance, which isn't amazing, but heavy infantry offense and defense plus 10%. Awesome. And I forgot to say, guys, at the end of this video today, we will do a little review of everything we've done so far, where we've got to, all of that sort of thing, how much pops we have, how much Roman pops we have, all of that juicy stuff for you there. Well, there we go. We can now take all of this, guys. Very nice indeed. Not much land for the amount of uh, <laughs> amount of uh, value, but what can you do? Very, very rich land, isn't it? That allows us to do storied Ionia over here. And let's see where we want to put our thing. Seven pops in roads. Fantastic. And as you can see, the Ptolemies have been converting quite a bit over here. There's a lot of Kemetic. <laughs> Oh dear, Ptolemies. Oh dear. <laughs> and you may be wondering why I saved up so much money. It's to do this. <laughs> well then, guys, time to get into all these little tiny guys over here. That is going to be very nice indeed. Let's go. Well, there is a lot of forts over here, but it is no problem with our lovely legion. Well, that is all of them pieced out. Very nice indeed, guys. Let's get rid of all of these forts. <laughs> well, now we can finish off these little boys over here. Take Sparades and go after the rest of the Antigonid Kingdom. That should be the end of them, I believe. Well, there we go. That literally only took a few months. And now we've got a bit of aggressive expansion. So we're going to have to chill out for a bit. And Pontus is looking rather juicy at the minute. Look at that. Very nice. And if you are enjoying this video, guys, please do consider giving it a like and a subscribe as well. Last couple of videos, we've been so close to 100 likes, but just underneath. So let's see if we can get 100 likes on this one. And now we can get military colonies as well, which is awesome. Minus 10. 10% found city cost, which is just all going to add up when we start going into Gaul and all that sort of thing. And now we can get temporary office, guys, which is really going to help out stopping some civil wars. Let's go. Well then, guys, we are ready to go into the Ptolemies once again. What we've been doing is we have been building... Uh, all of our conversion buildings across Illyria and in Asia as well. Um, so, And we've also founded a few cities up here in the provinces that didn't have cities like this one. For example, one over here. A couple in the middle over here too in some of these regions that didn't have cities. Basically as vehicles to start converting this land. Because as you can see, it's not very converted at the moment. So uh, we need to keep trying to convert it. I've also fabricated quite a few claims on the Ptolemies to try and make it cheaper because I kind of want to do two missions in one, if possible, with this war. But let's see. Right, here we go. This is going to be fun. Let's go. Let's get straight into them there and let's go smash them to pieces. My main concern with this war, guys, is the fact that the Ptolemies have still a very good fleet. So they could just come and land on Rome if they wanted to, but... We'll have to get some mercs if that <laughs> if that happens because literally all of our good like levies and our legion is over here. So <laughs> we are not taking any prisoners in this war, guys. We are going straight into them into the uh, the Middle East here. Uh, see if we can deal with them. They don't have many troops around. They're just annoying. They keep coming back and taking stuff. But like I say, it's it's not many. Hopefully we can stack wipe them at some point. 
Well, we can see they're starting to get a few more troops, but I, I don't know what they're doing. They seem like their troops are kind of gone. I, I'm kind of confused. I really don't know what they are doing right now, but yeah, this is all they've got over here. They've got another 4k there, and that's all I see here. I'm assuming some more will come at some point, uh, and they do have some over this way. That was what I kind of feared, guys, but it's not going to be too bad them taking these areas, honestly. Well, now we are beginning to stack white them. That is definitely very, very helpful. Um, and there we go. They've actually brought some troops. Ooh, 50,000 there as well. Nice. Nice. Now we've got a fight on our hands, guys, haven't we? Well, here we go. Here are all their troops. Let's see whether we can uh, push them back. I know we got pushed back ourselves. That is unfortunate. That is very unfortunate. And it looks like we've managed to stack wipe all the troops here and all the troops there. Fantastic. Now we just need to deal with the, the 50,000 over here. <laughs> and you are kidding me. The peace deal we need is 101. Oh, no. 101. Really? <laughs> Come on. And where did these guys come from? Where did you come from, my friends? I did not see you. We have a lot of troops over here. And I haven't seen their, like, 50k stack for a while. So, um, yeah, let's keep pushing. Well, there we go. This is what we are going to take, guys. We only needed one more battle and we can do it. We don't actually need these bits for a mission. So, it's going to be a bit disgusting border gore-wise. But, um... These are all the bits we need for missions at the moment. So uh, let's take that. Oof, and we are rather spicy meatballs right now, aren't we, guys? Very nice. And now we can take Anatolian riches over here. And let's see what we want to take. None of them are that good. So let's just go for Sardis. And of course, what did we save our money for again, guys? <laughs> and building cities is ridiculously cheap. 110 and 27 and a half influence now. That is absolutely insane. Fantastic. Honestly, at this point, guys, as well, I've kind of not given up on governor policies, but I've reduced my uh, sort of micromanaging of governor policies, like kind of let them do their own thing, apart from when they get disloyal. Uh, basically, I'm trying to convert using the buildings instead. I know it does help with the governor policies, but the, the governors keep dying. I mean, obviously, I should be putting in young ones, and I'm trying to put in as young as possible, but then they have really low statesmanship, so then they're not very good governors. So, yeah, it's a bit of a balancing act at the minute. And we have founded three more cities in these areas over here in provinces that didn't have them. Awesome. Right then, boys, it's time to get into Pontus. Let's try and take everything that we can for our missions. Fantastic. Let's go. And honestly, I am feeling the Roman feels right now, guys. We are just like stack wiping them everywhere we go. We are just absolutely brutalizing them here. This is fantastic. <laughs> Let's go. And a huge battle over here. 50,000 versus 20,000. Nice. Absolutely killing them. I really don't think they've got much to deal with us. And look at this. Our legion just stack wiped 11,000 troops that had full morale, which has given us Ferrata as well, which is just a fantastic heavy infantry discipline and heavy infantry morale. Wow. Well, let's see if our legion can do it again. Oh my God. Did you see that? Let's try that again. Well, here's 10,000. Let's see what they can do. Oh. <laughs> this is, that's just ridiculous. Come on, the boys. Well, there we go, guys. This is what we're going to take. Very nice. Cleaning up our borders and doing our missions too. Fantastic. And now we can do the Pontic threat. Let's take Sinope, the old rich city-state. Well, we just had to take one little last bit of land over here, guys. And now we can do... The Pirate Nest 2. Fantastic. Which one do we want? 11 Pops in Malice. Um, yeah, I think we'll take that one. That's a spicy meatball. And now we can also do the Eastern Campaign as well, giving loyalty to our generals. Nice. And we can literally split Rome in two if we... <laughs> now we've done that. I, I don't think we're going to do that yet, guys. We will become an empire at some point, but... It's not worth it yet, is it? Oh, and we look very sexy now. And once again, that is where all our money has gone. And now we can make Rome into a metropolis as well. Amazing, guys. And now we face a choice, guys. Rural planning or urban planning. Now, rural planning is really powerful if you're a tribal nation, generally. But urban planning, because we are basing our civilization on cities, because we are 
civilized with Romans, right? <laughs> this is insanely good. Build cost minus 5%, population capacity plus 5%. That's also massive for a lot of our cities. Global city building slots plus two. That means if a city is tiny, only has five population, we're going to have five building slots still in there as well. Pop promotion speed and global monthly food modifier. So I think overall, that is really good if you've got a very rural society, the rural planning. But because we are basing our society on cities, urban planning is going to be massive for us. Right guys, while we're waiting for our aggressive expansion to tick down, we're going to take out a few of these smaller boys along the coast so that it's easier for us to fight the Ptolemaic Kingdom when we get round to it again. Yamnat is not a problem because this is them. <laughs> That's the revolt there, so we shouldn't have a problem with that. We should be easy and all we need is our single legion. Speaking of legions, guys, let's get another one. Well, we've basically won this war in a couple of months, guys, but uh, I just want to watch this because it's so fun let's just watch these uh these <laughs> i didn't even get a chance to see it <laughs> like they stack white them that quick <laughs> it's glorious isn't it and there we go let's take ascalon over here and ascalon's done all the work for me they've already built all of the uh the grand theaters and great temples already nice well now it's time to take out these little guys over here look at them go they've got some Pretty large mercenaries over here. Must be some rich city-states, huh? Well, the mercs didn't even get to fight, but uh, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> right, guys, our boys are all in position for another glorious war against the Ptolemies. We've got people all over the place ready to smash them to pieces. So uh, let's go. We'll go for Syria as the war goal. I've got to say, I absolutely love the legionary sprites as well. Let's just have a look at the difference. You can see the difference between the uh, the levies and the legionaries. Absolutely awesome. I've got to say, we haven't met much resistance so far. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's it's been pretty smooth sailing so far, but... They could get that massive 50k troops again, couldn't they? And now we've won the Siege of Pelusion, allowing us to get into the Delta, guys. This is the first time we've actually invaded the Delta. Maybe we want to burn down a library or something when we get to Alexandria. <laughs> and here we are, the Siege of Alexandria, boys. Awesome. And now we can see them bringing their troops. There they are. There are the Ptolemies I know. And here we go, scorching victory for Legio Italia as well. The harsh sun is something most fear, but some learn and adapt to it. For days, cohort. The second Legio Italia hounded the enemy, keeping them from being able to access the oases. Their supply of water kept going down. Nice. This is awesome. Yeah, I almost feel sad for the enemy. Yeah, I mean, I kind of agree. <laughs> and that gives a 20% desert combat bonus. Nice. And a huge battle on Alexandria. Let's see how our legions do. Looks like we are winning at the moment, but yeah, I think we are going to win. But that was a pretty monstrous battle, wasn't it? Nice. And actually, it looks like we lost. No, they just had a little bit extra. Um, extra than we did. Oh, guys. Two war score over. Taking everything and being able to do all of our missions. That is rather a shame. So, uh, yeah, we'll just have to remove some of these ones over here. And they won't even peace out yet. Interesting. So what I think we are going to do, guys, is allow our lands to be connected. That's going to make everything a little bit easier, isn't it? 97 war score, but it's only 37 aggressive expansion. That's amazing. Let's go. And of course, we will leave Tyrus alone. And of course, Jerusalem too. And Antigonia. Well, now we can do ancient Syria. Fantastic. And once again, the Ptolemies have pretty much done our job for us by building <laughs> grand theaters and great temples everywhere too. Well, let's clean up this little area here to do some of our missions. Well, I think that was done in three months. <laughs> nice. Now we can lavish Palestine as well. And uh, let's go for 18 pops in Flavia Neopolis. Um, yeah, we'll take that one. <laughs> and then we have independent Judea, which will release Judea as a client state. Hmm. I'm not hugely great with that, but let's just see what happens. I mean, that's okay but it's not great is it especially when they don't even like us <laughs> well this last mission also is releasing a client state over here and i'm again not bothered about that so let's finish these missions off boys and then we can have a look at doing punic rivals next time as well 
But I hope you have enjoyed this video, guys. Please do like and subscribe if you did enjoy this Rome video. It has been very fun. It's been quite a journey as well coming through Anatolia and Rome. And I am going to go and do a little mini review now as well, guys, if you want. But if you're not interested in that, please do like and subscribe. And I'll see you all again on the next video. Right then, guys, for all of you interested in how we are doing, let's just have a look at the Atlas map mode so we can see our extensive road network that we do have we haven't built any down here yet but as you can see we have a road network connecting all the way to the Caucasus pretty much and all the way to the tip of Syracuse as well all the way across here now I will fill in some of these areas as well if you didn't know guys roads do help cities so ideally you do want to be joining your cities up it's not and um, like the best thing in the world to have roads uh, for cities they don't add an absolute monstrous amount of stuff but it does help the cities it gives you a little bit of extra import routes all that sort of thing so let's now also look at our culture map mode and i've actually had a look at this as well guys and you're going to be pretty surprised there we go look at that <laughs> look how much roman we already have like even in these areas we've just taken today that is how quick our conversion is for some reason macedonia has taken a little bit longer but look at that dominating dominating all other cultures literally everywhere around the map illyria again is a, a lot harder one because it's predominantly a rural population where it's going to be a lot harder to convert these guys but yeah that is awesome look at that already loads of roman all of greece is roman crete is roman <laughs> all of italia obviously uh sardinia is struggling a little bit and behind but that is very nice indeed let's also now look at hellenic and as you can see pretty much everywhere is hellenic in our empire we've got a little bit of Dru Dru uh, druidic we've got a little bit of illyric zalmoxian and kemetic in these lands that we've taken off the ptolemies but yeah, everywhere else is pretty much Hellenic. That is absolutely amazing. And this is our cities map mode. You can see Rome is a megalopolis. But apart from that, we pretty much have a city in every single province, at least one. And of course, in these areas, a lot more than one city per province too. So uh, looking absolutely exceptional. Population wise, guys, we have a lot of population in the big city areas, of course. I mean, Rome, how much population does Rome have now? Twen uh, sorry, 112. Pretty nice. Illyria actually has 60 as well, which is pretty cool. Some big populations over here as well like Pella's got 64 so yeah we've got a lot of population in our lands if we break it down further guys we've got 8400 roman pops i mean if you remember from two videos ago i think we had about 2000 or something 8400 now amazing and behind that we've got 1699 macedonian and that's it and then everyone else is a tiny culture group compared to roman we are really taking this one culture thing very seriously aren't we and 80 percent of our nation is hellenic as well we currently make about 217 in income and 107 in expenses with the fleet maintenance down if it's up it's about 111 so it's not a problem at all pretty nice income for this stage of the game and remember guys we are only in 89 bc so we have plenty of time to get everything done so let's look at the ledger guys and as you can see we are the only great power in the world currently literally the only one we have 16,800 population the next is tamil cam which i'm assuming is one of these oh it's basically all of india Carthage has 4,000, which is fair enough for Carthage. 3,600 for the Parthian Revolt. And the Ptolemies now only have 3,400. Wow. We have really reduced that, haven't we? That is amazing. And if we have a look at the number of territories, we've got 1,200 versus the Parthians and Carthage only on 418. So we should be able to take the Punic missions next time because we just about got three times the amount of pop, uh, amount of territories that they do overall though guys i think we're in a fantastic place i hope you have enjoyed this video and this little review thank you very much for watching guys and i will see you all again on the next video and once again massive thank you to the channel members of david pascal and cowie if you are interested in supporting the channel guys there is a link down below where you can support the channel for as little as one dollar a month but anyway guys i'll see you all again on the next video that's a lot of damage.